I like the way certain directors approach genre and try to kind of mythologize it and make it their own. And if you went to France and you looked at the, the gangster films that Jean-Pierre Melville did, which were kind of very similar, even though he was going about it in a French way, um, it's very similar to what I was trying to do, where he was like, he'd take genre stories from Warner Brothers' heyday and then kind of do it in his French style and you know, have it put, take place in Pagal as opposed to Hell's Kitchen. But again, he had a, a, a sense of style for his characters with their snap rim fedoras and their, uh, tra uh, and their trench coats and their raincoats. Yeah, Bogart wore that kind of stuff. But man, when you see Belmondo wear it and when you see Alain Delon wear it, wow, okay, it has this specific look, and that became the suit of armor for his characters. It's more like, no, that's just my style. <laughs> my guys wear black suits. And, it, you know, and it's, like, and it's like Melville's trench coats. Melville I haven't grown out of. Melville is the guitar I haven't grown out of. All right, I love Mel Melville's take on genre. I think Melville, along with Sergio Leone, is probably the greatest uh, uh, reconstructionist of genre, and really delivering, completely in his own way. All right, you know, he, you know, he, he knows the rules of, of, of gangster films, and he was in love with the gangster films of like you know the thirty of the thirties uh, and forties, the film noirs of the forties, and the gangster films of the thirties, and like he took very the same similar plots and took you know, banal American crime novels and did them, but did them his own way, and really, not in the my way or Elmore Leonard way, but in his own way, had real life intrude upon them. All right, in really great ways. But another critic said this about um, Melville's work, and boy, it is so true. And it is, again, one of the things I held on to, is Melville was, a, was probably one of the major French influences on the New Wave. The French New Wave was battling what they considered the boring, fucked up, bourgeois cinema of France at its time. Melville was the only older guy doing cinema that was inspirational to them. And if you look at, um, if you look at Lee Dolos, or Bobby Flambleau, or Lee Denis, um, not Lee, um, um, what's that one? Second Breath, Second Breath, or something like that. Uh, uh, and then uh, um, uh, Lee Samurai. You do get a sense. There's like an aesthetic working in Melville's work that you get a sense that you don't have to know how to make a movie. If you truly love cinema with all your heart and with enough passion, you can't help but make a good movie. You don't have to go to school. You don't have to know a lens, you know, a 40 and a 50 and a fuck all that shit. Crossing the line, none of that shit's important. If you just truly love cinema with enough passion and you really love it, then you can't help but make a good movie. The other thing also is uh, there's a French director named Jean-Pierre Melville who came out in the 50s and basically started doing a whole series. Of, and he was like a total like entertainment director. He did a whole series of, uh, of crime films, always like set in Paris or Marseille or something, that were basically the Warner Brothers, Bogart, Cagney films, all right, but completely set to this like French Parisian rhythm. And they're great, and they work very much in the same way that like Sergio Leone's films do, where they take a genre that like, we know left, right, forwards, up and down and backwards, but they do it with a whole different style and a whole different perspective, and here they've basically reinvented the genre. They've created something new that didn't exist before. Now that's what I'm always kind of trying to do with my genre films. I don't know if I'm succeeding or not, but that's the attempt. To take something you've seen before, I love it, I respect it, and I'm going to deliver the goods. I'm not just yeah. going to be some arty guy going off, you know, uh, right. but I'm, I'm, I'm delivering the goods, but I'm also trying to do it in a much different way you've ever seen before. I love uh, Jean-Pierre Melville. It's just so much fun with uh, the way he takes off on these icons. What he will do is he would take these, you know, Bogart Cagney gangster films that he loves so much, take them from, like, from Warner Brothers, and basically almost redo them verbatim, but he would set them in Paris and Marseille and Fontainebleau, and that changed everything. It changed everything. And, and, and all of a sudden, the gangsters, they had this American uh, uh, code and American ethics, but they also had this weird kind of poetic you know, Frenchness about them and, and you know, romanticism that the, 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 the French had. What Melville did that was so exciting to me is he throws in these like left turns constantly as far as the plot is concerned and, and takes the rules, understands the rules, and loves the rules, but creates rules of his own, almost reinvents the genre.